What's up YouTube? How are you doing? Chana D or Techno Dad here. And in this video, I'm going to show you the best accessory you can get for the Apple TV and it only costs 30 bucks. We're gonna check it out right after the jump. If you're looking to upgrade your TV this holiday season, you should check out the options from Vizio. From the budget ranged M series to the P Quantum series and the massive 85 inch P Quantum X, Vizio has you covered. With the new IQ Active and Ultra processors, combined with Quantum Dot Color and the most powerful local dimming backlight in the industry, the 2020 lineup of Vizio TVs should be on your short list. Now, me personally, I'm excited for the Vizio OLED as it's the only OLED in the country that supports HDR10 Plus and Dolby Vision. Vizio's new Pro Gaming Engine delivers a more responsive gaming experience with industry leading input lag, AMD FreeSync and FreeSync Premium, and support for 4K 120Hz gaming. Check out the 2020 lineup of Vizio TVs at the link below. And I'm back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into it. I've got a couple Apple TVs. I got one in the living room, got one in the bedroom. And I use the one in the living room more because it is attached to the whole home entertainment center. And we use a Logitech remote that's all programmed for that. Now, even the Logitech remote, I'll admit, it's a little clunky with the Apple TV. However, it works. It works way better than that weird slidey, slippity thingamajig that Apple gives you. Of course, there is no voice control. And even on this remote control, um, that we're going to talk about today. It's the Function 101. This does not have voice control, but don't really need it. I, I think it's not necessary. So this is the Function 101 remote control. Go to function101.com. Check it out. Link is down in the description. It's $29.95. And this one little thing has made me use my Apple TV in the bedroom a lot more, a lot more. You have no clue how much more I use the Apple TV just because of this remote. I was gonna do like a cool unboxing, but uh, the remote comes in this. So I guess that was that was the unboxing, right? Um, it came with uh, some AAA batteries and I bought it direct from Function 101 website in October. And basically we've got the menu button um, we've got the OK, the up, down, left, right, uh, the movement buttons. Now, this section in the middle here is volume, channel, up and down, mute. Along with the power button, you're supposed to be able to program it to your TV. I actually haven't had any success with that. So, you know, out of a five star rating, I would have to ding this a star because I don't have that. Uh, not a big deal for us because the TCL is already programmed to the cable box remote. So with the cable box remote, controlling the cable box and the TV, and then this guy, we only have the two remotes. Uh, transport controls for whatever content you're watching, play, pause, stop, scan, and fast forward, rewind is at the bottom. Now this uh, top part here is all rubberized, which is really nice. And the buttons are raised on that. And we also get a nice little click there. Um, yeah. I hope you heard that. I have no idea. I won't find out until, until later. And the back of it's just plastic. Um, it's not too heavy, but it's got a little bit of weight. Definitely a lot heavier than the Apple remote. Um, another thing I hate about Apple's remote control or just trying to control the Apple TV is you can use your phone. It's just a pain in the butt. I'm not a huge fan of having to pull out my phone every single time I want to change a channel or pause or anything like that. So this thing is awesome. Okay, so what I've done here, just to give a little demonstration, is I've captured or I'm capturing the Apple TV 4K, which is just over there out of the shot. And that's going into my PC uh, 4K 60 capture card. I turned off HDR because of editing purposes. So we are capturing directly from the Apple TV so you guys can see just exactly how responsive this remote control is because it's pretty cool. And I, I've been downloading stuff and... We'll go check that out in just a second. All right, so here we are. This is the Apple TV and it is sitting right over there. So I'm just gonna point it over there and just show you guys like, boom, here we go. We're going down. Now we're going to the right over to Twitch, going up all the way. And now we're in the little photo section. Let's go over to Apple TV. And there, there she is in all her glory, Mariah Carey. 
Mariah Carey's Christmas special. Okay, um, we got Charlie Brown Christmas. And look, I'm not going overboard. It, I don't have to like, here, let's go. Um, let's go down to Netflix. So down, over, over. Boom, done. Let's go down to YouTube. Down, right, right. Let's go to Bravo. One, two, three, four. And no more slipping and sliding and trying to go all over the place or or it going all over the place with the Apple TV remote. Oh, this is so awesome. All right, you can get into HBO Max. And one of the cool parts about this remote is when you are searching for things, you know, typing it in is super easy. Let's go for... What are we, HBO? Let's go G-A for Game of Thrones. And there it is. Um, boom. And we're ready to rock. So, you know, this thing is is pretty awesome. There he is. Good old Eddard Stark. Um, pressing the menu button, you know, it's the same as your Apple TV remote. You know, multiple menu presses to get you all the way out to the actual um, screen. Now, if I wanted to go check out my videos on Vimeo, I could do that as well whenever this thing loads. And just like any other content, you can rewind, fast forward, play. Here's the recording of my DJ stream, which is uploaded to Vimeo for all of my Twitch subscribers. So yeah, you know, you hit menu to get out of this and menu and menu, and we're back out. We can go into Twitch and get up to, you know, watch whomever, you know, go to my channel here, do, 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 you know, check out my Series X Cold War stream test, which was absolutely ridiculous. Like, this was not a cool situation. I got to tell you, I got to tell you, the Series X is not really the best uh, for streaming uh, directly from the console. I had to use a capture card and OBS and do all kinds of stuff. As you can see in the little window there, I'm at work uh, testing out all this stuff. Anyway, let's get out of here and go back to, um, you know, go to Disney Plus. And uh, one of the things... I do all the time is, you know, um, you know, logging in and have to enter a new one. Let's see. This is a lot easier here. I'm, I'm just clicking away. I'm sure you can hear. Uh-oh, at Gmail. So this would take a lot longer. And of course, yes, you can pull out your phone and do this. Um, where's the L? There you are. Ah. Boom. And yes, like I said, you can pull out your phone and enter all this stuff in, whoopsie. But if you missed the phone alert thingamajig like I just did, now, <laughs> now I have to um, enter it again, get in here, and then there we go. And I, come on. But again, this is one of those things where it's like, it's a lot easier to use the remote, especially if you don't want to pull out your phone or if your phone is just not handy. Um, definitely the way to go. Oh, there we go. Select uh, my account here and, you know, you can start watching Black Beauty, you know? So yeah, let's hit menu to get out of this. Um, anything you guys want to do is a lot easier with the Function 101 remote. Now I did hear that the um, Apple TV 2020 is supposed to release December 8th, which is today. Well, today is the 7th. I'm shooting this video on the 7th, so it's supposed to ship tomorrow, but these are just rumors. If that is the case, I'll put a link down in the description uh, for you guys to see what's up. And let's see here. We can go to one of my videos. Where, where, here, here, right over here. Boom. So yeah, um, super easy to navigate 
everything on the Apple TV with this remote. Again, if I did have to ding it for something, it's they were trying to add maybe a little too much. Uh, I could not, you, you just trying to follow the instructions to program the remote to work with the TV, it just wouldn't work. I spent like an hour doing it, it didn't work, so I just scrapped it. <laughs> I don't need it to control our TV anyway. So um, yeah, like, I, I, I really like this thing. And if you have an Apple TV and you're not using it as much or you find it cumbersome to navigate through everything, definitely check this out. For 30 bucks, yeah, this is, this is the way to go. In fact, I stand by this comment right here. This is the remote Apple should have made. Hands down. This is the remote Apple should have made. It's just easy. Navigation is just easy. Everywhere. Doing everything, it's just it's just easy. It feels nice in the hand. It's not like all crazy big. Um, and it makes the little noises, you know. I'm just pressing volume up and down because I know it's not programmed to anything. But yeah. Let's see if I can get it out. Let's menu, menu, and let's go over to, oh, let's go to Voodoo. Yep, my Voodoo. You know, I can't start playing these movies, otherwise we'll get hit with copyright. Um, oh, Braveheart, Braveheart, boom. Dun, 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 dun. Right, so. Yeah, I think this is a no-brainer for those of you that have an Apple TV. Uh, whether it's 4K, the 2020, or the older one, definitely check it out. I put links down in the description. And um, yeah, great stocking stuffer for the holidays. Doesn't take up much space at all. Um, yeah, 30 bucks. The best remote for the Apple TV on the planet. All right. So if you guys have any questions about the Function 101 Apple TV remote control, let me know down in the comments below. And if you have any questions about anything else, let me know there. Or if you like to use social or email, whichever you like to use, uh, hit me up on that platform. It's all good. Well, that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, go ahead, smash that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel using the button in the middle of your screen. Once again, my name is Chana D. I am your techno dad, and I'll see you next time. Thank you